Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I wanted to shoot an empties video. So this is a bag condensed with everything that I have used up and loved. So I want to go through it and just show you. It's at the tippy top. So I'm going to pick item by item out in no specific order and just show you the things that I have been using and loving. So without any further ado, let's get into today's video. But before we do, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. So the first item I have is this Bath & Body Works candle. I love this so much. I purchase Bath & Body Works candles nonstop. I love to fill my home with different scents. And I just love this one so much. This is mahogany teak wood, high intensity. It fills the room up with the smell. Like high intensity just means like you're gonna walk into this and it's just gonna smack you in the face but in the best way. And this has notes, I wanna say, I'm trying to find the notes. So the notes are rich mahogany, black teak wood, dark oak, and frosted lavender with essential oils. And this just smells like a man's cologne. It smells so darn good. I can't just express enough how much you need to try this one out, especially just if you love candles in general. By Bath & Body Works candles. They're really good. Now that I'm really smelling it, what it reminds me of is an Abercrombie & Fitch kind of store. That smell, that vibe. It's just so intoxicating and I love it so much. The next item I have is this Riogio deodorant. So it says clean D-E-O without the B-O. So I love that phrase and this is the Be Well Tea Tree and Eucalyptus Clean Deodorant. It's free of aluminum, talc, and parabens. So that's the reason why I purchased it because I have used nothing but clean deodorants and I really did like this. I love the scent of tea tree and eucalyptus. My only problem is that the scent doesn't last too long. Then I start to smell my body odor again. So I am still on the hunt for a clean deodorant. If you know of any, please comment down below if you are using them. So I would just have to not repurchase, which is sad because I really did love the scent but it really didn't do it for me. So on the hunt, continuing the journey for clean deodorant. The next empty I have is Verb Ghost Oil, and I tried this out in a mini. I must have got it in an Ipsy bag, and when I tried it out and placed it on my hair, whether my hair was wet and curly or whether I put this when blow drying my hair, it literally was a weightless hair oil, which I was shocked about because I absolutely hate using oils in my hair. Hate, hate, hate. And this just provided shine, it didn't weigh down my hair. So I will purchase this again. I am trying out different oils right now, but they aren't doing it for me the way that this did. And it really is inexpensive and they sell it at Sephora. So again, this is a Verb Ghost Oil and this would be repurchased. Continuing with hair care, I wanted to show you Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Yogurt Hydrate and Repair Protein Power Treatment. So I really did enjoy this. I love using it when I come out of the shower and I place the oil on my hair with this because if I use it alone, I really don't like the consistency. It's a whipped cream, but with the oil together, it's just like a dream treatment. I feel like it just strengthens my hair as well as moisturizing it and adding a nice shine. So I would repurchase this again just for me personally. I do use it with an oil. My next product is also from Target. This is the, from the brand Curls. This is Blueberry Bliss, and this is a reparative hair mask, which I have to say I loved so much. I use products from Curl, like a lot of them. There's nothing left, so I'm sorry. I thought I was gonna show you something. I can imagine me just taking my wet hair and just dunking it in here and getting the rest of whatever was in here because I really truly love this treatment so much. I've been buying treatments from Sephora, which can be expensive or inexpensive, but with Target, you know that you're getting an inexpensive product. What I love about this was the quality. It really allowed me to comb through my hair very nicely, and I love to leave this on my hair as well overnight. It was just really great, and it really helped my curls come out. It has no sulfates, no silicones, no parabens, no artificial oils or colors or fragrances, and it's an intensive, reparative, deep conditioning hair mask guaranteed to repair damage and enhance growth. And that's exactly what I needed, so that's why I purchased it. And I can't say enough great things about it. So if you have curly hair, or even if you don't, I don't believe you need to have curly hair, try out this brand from Target. It's really good. 
Coincidentally, I have another product from the same brand. So this is the Blueberry Bliss Curl Control Paste. This is actually what I have on my hair right now. I have a new bottle of this in the bathroom. So like it says, it's a control paste. I use this for my baby hairs or just slicking back my hair in general. This is what I use on a daily basis and I absolutely love it. So this is another product that I would urge you to try if you're in Target. You will really love the brand Curls. I have so many other products from this brand. But I want to say that these two are truly my favorites. This is the control paste and this is the reparative hair mask. So this is a hair mask from Briogeo. It is no longer in stock, but they do have their original Don't Despair Repair Hair Mask, which is so much better than this one. I think they try to be innovative, come out with new cute packaging and add honey so that way it was really deep in moisture. But I really truly didn't like this. I love the packaging. When I used the formula on my hair, it really didn't do anything. I really wanted to comb through and I thought that it was gonna be very easy to do so and it wasn't with this. So I was really surprised and it brought me back to childhood because it smells like Kool-Aid, the fruit crunch kind of Kool-Aid, the cherry, I don't know, is it fruit punch or cherry? I don't know, cherry flavor, the Kool-Aid, the pack, it just smells like that. And I remember eating the pack like if it was like the dip and stick thing or just trying to dye my hair red with the Kool-Aid packets. So this scent was just so reminiscent of that. And I just love the scent and the packaging, like I said, but the formula was not it. But if you're interested in a hair mask, the Don't Despair Repair Original Mask from Briogeo is so good and I would definitely repurchase that over and over again. I have another item from the drugstore. This is OGX Beauty Pure and Simple. This is their Nourishing Coconut and Milk Conditioner. So I was really surprised by this because I didn't buy it for any reason. It's not like I really was dying to use this. I just brought it to buy it being in CVS, needing a conditioner. And this is so good, let me tell you. I place it on my hair and my hair just melts like butter. It is so easy to detangle and the smell of coconut is so amazing. It's so just, I don't know, like I'm in a tropical setting when I close my eyes. I am no longer in the bathtub. I love this so much for detangling. It is very nourishing and it smells immaculate. I love the scent of coconut, so I would just tell you if you're looking for an inexpensive conditioner, definitely try out OGX. It comes in different scents as well. I think there's like a macadamia one, a jojoba oil one, but I definitely love this coconut milk one and recommend it. So while we're on bath items, I think I showed you guys this before, I non-stop buy this. When I run out of it, I purchase a new one and I purchase it in the biggest one possible. I can't remember if this is the big one. For some reason, I feel like there's a bigger one in my shower. But this is the Pure Castile Soap. This is 18-in-1 Hemp Peppermint. You can literally use this for like your laundry. It says for your dishes, to mop the floor, to wash your dog, to clean your veggies and fruit, to shave your legs and underarms. I do not recommend you shaving your body when using this because it burns so bad. At least for me, it burns so bad. So I use it to wash my body and I love it because I feel so clean with this. And this is a clean product, so it is just so good. It comes in so many different scents. I know there's mango, there's lavender, there's so many scents, so definitely check this out. This is so good for your body. And as I said before, you can use it for laundry, you can use it for your dog, you can use it for fruit and veggies. So a little goes a long way, it is so great. I urge you to try it. You can buy it on Amazon, but I go in Whole Foods when I do purchase this. So next, skincare, I guess. We're gonna go with this, and this is the Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. This is from Drunk Elephant, and this is a push top, and there is no more lotion, as you can see in there. Moisturizer, not lotion. And I really love this because this is for fine lines. This is what it targets. It's a really lightweight cream, and this was my second bottle. I generally would repurchase this, but I am trying out new products. So, so far, I would repurchase if I wasn't trying out other products. Like I said, this targets fine lines, wrinkles. It's a lightweight moisturizer. It's really nice, and I believe all Drunk Elephant products, if not all, most, this one is a clean product. So this strengthens and moisturizes your skin. Coincidentally, we're gonna continue with the face. So this is a Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment and this is by far my holy grail if I had to choose one mask 
in this planet of Earth, it would be this mask right here. I love it so much. I really do feel like it draws the impurities out of your skin. And anytime you have the nastiest pimple that you're just like, this has to go away in a couple of hours or by tomorrow, I will spot treat with this or I would just place this all over my face and it truly drags all the impurities out of my face. I love it so much. It comes in about four different sizes. I want to say this is second to last of the biggest. So I don't know if that even made sense to you, but um, this is the second biggest. So this is what it looks like inside and I won't lie to you, it does tingle. So it will go on dark gray and as it dries it will be light gray and you'll see the impurities because those will stay like dark gray and you'll just think wow to yourself. I feel like we're moving along. This is so light now. I'm so excited. So I love this powder. This is holy grail powder for me. Like I fell in love with this so much. I thought like everyone else I was going to love the Laura Mercier powder that be my ride or die. That powder is kind of really heavy, Laura Mercier, although it's really beautiful. This powder is talc free, which is amazing. It's a clean product, so I really can't say enough good things. I always remove the filters from my powders just so I can dunk my sponge in. But this is a lightweight powder. It is so fine. I feel like it just laid on the skin so nicely when I did pat it onto my face to set it. So. It does come in a mini. I would just tell you to try it, especially if you love Laura Mercier. I think you would love this way more. And if you do try it, happen to try it, let me know down below. I want to know your thoughts on it because I feel like this powder isn't talked about enough and it truly is so great. So because we're on makeup, I'm going to continue on. So I have two brow products, right? I have Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. Tried and true, you guys know, if you know me, you should know me if you're watching. This is my tried and true. I buy this time and time again. I love this so much. It will always be repurchased. Always, always, always. So then I purchased this, right? I ran out of this one day and I was like, I'm not going to Sephora and I'm not just purchasing online for one product, not doing it. So I went into like a CVS and I saw Nikki Tutorials talk about this Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim Pencil and she said it was so good and I just thought to myself, if Nikki Tutorials is saying a brow product is good, I have to try it and just check it out for myself, especially because Maybelline is a drugstore product and it's inexpensive. I thought it couldn't hurt, so I tried it out and I have to tell you guys, I really did love the pencil. It drew on my brows so nicely and precisely. The only complaint I have about it is the spoolie, so I'm going to try to come closer up. So on the left we have the Maybelline Brow Spoolie and I really just don't like the brow spoolie that much at all. So this Anastasia Clear Brow Gel is my tried and true. I love this so much and it comes in a mini just because I get those Anastasia Beverly Hill Brow Wiz, the duo pack where this is the mini and the Brow Wiz is its full size. So I go through this like crazy. I've been using soap brows, I use Glossier's other kind of brow gel and while they're okay, Nothing compares to this. I feel like this holds like hairspray, but it allows you to move your brows as you need to to create the brow that you want. I feel like with the soap brows, my eyebrows are just so stiff. Whatever I did, it had to stay that way. There was no moving, so if I created a mistake or it was that harsh, that's the way it was going to remain. With this, this is hairspray for me, but it allows me to play with it, manipulate it a bit which I really do enjoy, so I constantly will go through Anastasia Brow Wiz Clear Gel as well as her Brow Wiz Pencil time and time again. I just love it so much. So if you haven't tried it, definitely give that a try. Like, it is everybody's mecca, their holy grail. So this is one of my favorites. This is a YSL perfume, and this is in the scent Libre. I actually really love this so much. I feel like it's a mature woman type of scent. I use this all the time for work. So I would definitely repurchase this. Is there anything left? Let me see. Yeah, so I just feel like it's like a rose scent. It's more mature. It's it's some, definitely a mature scent. It reminds me of like an older woman, but not like a grandma older woman, just a mature older woman. I really do love the scent of this. And I'm going to see if I can just find it on my phone to give you guys what type of notes it has. This scent type is Warm Florals. The fragrance family is floral. The key notes are Lavender Essence, Orange Blossom, and Musk Accord. And as 
I, can, I don't know. I just love it. And it's so weird because I'm not a floral scent person. So this really smells amazing. I would just tell you to get a sample size just to smell it and try it out. And that is it for all of my empties. It felt like it took forever, yet that was such a small bag. I don't know if that was even fun. I feel like I love a big bag because it just shows an array of things that I use. But that was it for my empties bag for what I have so far. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when I'm coming out with another video. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one. I love you so much and I hope you're having a great day.